In 2008, we did lose money like everyone did, but it didn't seem to be that big of a concern then. But as the older we become, the more conscious we are of, again, will, our, will we outlast our money. As the accounts and as the market was falling, um, our advisor did not uh, reach out to us extensively. And so we kind of just rode that storm out and hoped for the best. As I think back on the lack of communication uh, with our advisor, I, w I just can only say that I was not as tuned in at that time in my life as I am right now. And I think the reason that I'm tuned in now is, first of all, um, I'm very concerned about the economic circumstance of our country. We have not discussed these concerns with our present advisor, but after hearing uh, Phil speak today, it certainly has uh, given me lots of food for thought and, and piqued a lot of questions in my mind. I became very aware after today's seminar about all the hidden costs that were not revealed to me. And, and they were probably put in printed uh, writing, but didn't, I did not take the time to read it. I've listened to Phil for the last two years on the radio, and it's, it's taken me uh, all this time to get myself here. But I have a different feeling now, and it gives me hope. Um, and it gives me a sense of empowerment to think that um, I can do something about crash-proofing my retirement after hearing him. So I would definitely, um, and it is my intent to, um, when I get home, to call and invite and inform my friends who I think would be interested in, very interested in being here today.